Hey guys, Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com here. Today we're going to learn how to play Brown Eyed Girl. I love it. Take a listen. Oh, where did we go? Days when the rains came and of course brown eyed girl all right guys if you are a member on webpianoteacher.com you can download this sheet either by purchasing it outright or you can use one of your sheet credits to do that but downloading this sheet is great because you can have the actual printout of the thing i'm using here to teach with or you can put it on your ipad or device and zoom in or zoom out however you want to view it to learn the lesson but let's get started all right the neat thing about this one is that you have this awesome guitar part, electric guitar part, but you also have an awesome bass part. So what I did, the keyboard is the only instrument that can play both at the same time. So I transcribed all the guitar part all the way through the whole thing. So you get every lick on that electric guitar part, but you also get the bass line as well. I'm going to help you how to put your hands together. The rhythm can be a little tough in this one because of that. So I'm going to take you through each measure and show you how to, to get the rhythm going, getting your hands playing together on it. All right, so we're going to take E, F sharp first in the left hand. We're going to be really low down here. All right, here's middle C. Here's the next one. Here's the next one. So we're down here. Dun, dun, dun. Now, if your keyboard doesn't go that far, it doesn't matter. You can just play it up here. Play it right here, and it'll be just fine. But for those of you who have the 88 keys, we're going to start really low. E, F sharp, G. And we're going to work on that left hand alone. And I will say on this little first part right here, this is a lot of the song, this bass line at least. The electric guitar on top does something different every time. But the bass is pretty much the same on this part of the song. So really practice left hand alone on this before you try to put them together. Okay, really get that left hand where you can play it by itself. So let's learn it. So E, F sharp is what you start with there. I'm going to use, I don't know, 5, 3, 2. Bum, bum, bum. And pretty much no pedal in this, guys. If you ever see me use pedal, it's just to connect something. Or, uh, you know, so, so very little pedal. Now, so that's E, F sharp, G, and the rhythm is bum, bum, bum. So it's and four, one, two, three, bum, bum, bum. So there's the next little group of three notes. G, B, C, and I'm going to use four, two, one. Let's put that together. Dun, 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 two, three, bum, bum, bum. And then, da, 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 da. So you play that C again, and then two E's. And then two F sharps, I'm going to cross my third finger over. And then a G, let's add that onto what we've just learned. One, two, go. Bum, bum, one, two, go. Bum, bum, one, two. One, two, three. B, C sharp, D is the last thing. B, C sharp, D. Three, two, one. Now normally I'd go, you know, one measure right hand, we put them together and then left, put them together. But this bass line is so important. You need to be able to play it all by itself. Let's go from the beginning. One, two, go. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. We're going to do that over and over and over again. All right? So our motto here <clears throat> is learn, play, share. <laughs> all right? The first part, the learn, is the workshop. That's what we're doing right now. It takes a lot of brain power. We're working hard. We're trying to... To get the basics down on this left hand, we're in the workshop. Then once we kind of get it down, we can go to the play part, which is just playing it once we get our hands together over and over, repetitions. After we have it, we need those repetitions where we're just playing and enjoying it, not having to think too much. So learn, play, and the last part is share it. Give it away. Play it for someone else. And who doesn't like this song? Who doesn't love uh, Brown Eyed Girl? Play it for someone who's going to pat you on the back, give you some encouragement. It's something about that when you share it with others, it just makes you better and you learn music better in a way that you don't if you're all by yourself. All right, so that left hand. Bum, bum, bum. Make sure we still have it. One, two, three. Very good. Now the electric guitar part. All right, so we have... Uh, B, G, or G, B here, okay? We have thirds on the guitar. So G, B with one and three. All right, here's middle C. Got to play with one and, one and three. Now A and C will be fingers two and four. So that's the first little group. All right, and then the next group is B and D with three and five. So 
dun dun dun, or bum bum bum, bum bum. Now we just come back down the way we came up. And notice how I have a little um, hop with my wrist. It helps me do it. If I try to stay too still, it makes it a little more difficult. So a little bit. This is a little peppy anyway, so use a little roast, ri uh, wrist motion. Okay, fast, fast, hold, fast, fast. Here's the first group. Now the next group is pretty cool because it's going to feel exactly the same. You just move up. It's a sequence. Okay, if you have a certain thing and then you just move it up or down and you do the same thing, but it's in a different place on the piano, it's called a sequence. So that's going to feel exactly the same under your fingers as this first sequence did. So we want a G chord to start with. Now we're going to a C chord. C, E. Okay. So C, E. And then D, F with 2 and 4. And then E, G with 3 and 5. That's it. So we do what we did in the first measure. Again. Now let's do the first measure and the second measure. So the trick is getting from one to the other place. You can play this one. But you've got to get to the second one on time. So practice going from G and B to C and E. That move. Because once you're there, you're okay. Now the next one, yay, it's exactly the same as the first measure, right? There we go. So the, the first measure is the same as the third one. Then we just have this. D and A with fingers 1 and 3. And then we have it. Okay, the reason that we did the left hand first is because I like to attack the thing that's probably going to give us the most trouble. Because if we stay away from it, it's just going to be more hard and we're going to kind of be discouraged about ever doing it and have a little fear every time we do it. We don't want that, so we want to go at it first. We want to go at this left hand bass line first and then learn the right hand. Now we're going to try to put them together, but listen, make sure you've done the workshop first. The, the first part is learn, play. Well, we have it on our little... Thing here. Can we see that? <laughs> Learn, play, share. It was so important that I put it out there. <clears throat> but uh, the learn part of the workshop, get that right hand practiced in your good repetitions, left hand good repetitions. Now we're going to try to put it together one measure at a time. We're building a house, okay? We put the foundation down. Now we've got to add whatever's next when you build a house. <laughs> All right, so first measure, we're going to include these pickups, okay? Still in the workshop. Once we learn it, we can do the play part. So you play bump, bump, bump. So the left and right hand are together there. Right hand. Now the last two things, both hands are going to play together. Now don't go beyond that. Stay on that until you can do that before you move on. Let's do it. Do it again. The second repetition. I'm going to do one more because three is a good number. Very good. Now, I'm going to move on. Now, I'm going to work on this measure. Now, you may not be there yet. You may be pausing your video or coming back tomorrow to try the next measure. That's fine. I'm going to move on right now. And we're going to work on the second measure just like we worked on the first one. All right, so hands together. The D and F. Then hands together here. Then it's left hand by itself. Then it's together. And then it's together again. And then one more. Now guys, when you print this sheet out, this is what I used to do all the time, but I stopped drawing these lines because I wanted to keep the board clean. But if you want to mark up your sheet, that's wonderful. That's one of the reasons we do it. You can put little vertical lines between the notes that play together. That'll help you see which ones don't play together and which ones do. So if I start right here, I have uh, together right together, left, together, together, left. Now, some of this will sound almost wrong when you go, you go, is that right, an E with it? Yes, it'll sound fine when you're moving along and going up to speed. Listen. See, because we hear all those things going together and they go uh, fast enough to where it just flows right to the next thing. All right, so slowly. Second rep. Third rep. Very good. Okay, so we have the first measure. We have the second measure. What do we do now? We tie them together. 
right? This is what I teach you in the Easy Piano Lesson series. There's 50 lessons on webpianoteacher.com right now showing you how to practice not only the theory and scales and ear training and all that stuff. These are brand new lessons that I did just for the all new webpianoteacher.com in, in 2019. Um, <clears throat> but we work on how to practice. And so after you do that first measure and second measure, you want to put them together. Okay? So we'll put them together now. From the very beginning, we'll do two measures. That's my first rep. Now yours probably sounded like this. Maybe you got the notes, maybe you didn't, and then. So you have those pauses in there. That's okay, that's normal. The idea is to get those pauses out, and good reps is what'll get those pauses out. So make sure you're going slow enough to get it right. Let me do one more rep on that. Now, the last measure, you get a break because music repeats a lot. And so this first, this next measure is just like the first one you did, except the very end, the left hand has something different, but pretty much the same. Let's take a look at it. Here's the third measure. So what the left hand does is G, because you went da 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 da, you're on G. Now you go down B, C sharp, D. Okay, so bum, da da, D. I'll put the right hand with it. I have. Now again, some of these things will not sound right. You play that thing to go, is that right? Is that right? But it is. Now, so what do we do? We just learned the third measure. What do we do? We put it together. We learned the first two. Now we're going to put it, we're going to tack that third measure on and work on the whole thing as a group. That, that, this way we take small pieces, here a little, there a little. And we, we add on and we take that one little bit and make sure we can have that down before we move on. That way you have a success on a small part, and then you have confidence for the next little part that you can do that as well, okay? Don't work on the whole song at once. It can be very discouraging to do that and daunting. We don't want to do that. We want to take as much as we can take at one time and no more. So here we go with all three measures. One, two, slow. Second rep. I'll go a little faster on this one. Maybe one more for the third rep. All right. And, you know, I'm even feeling like I know it better after doing those repetitions. So repetitions, good repetitions, are very important. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson series. Like I said, all the lessons for this whole thing are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. You can download the sheet as well as any other sheet in the whole site, okay, for any lesson series that you want to have the sheet. Me and my wife spent hours and hours of late nights and really a whole year of just rewriting all these old boards so you guys could have a sheet for every lesson. Webpianoteacher.com. Check it out.